That's it. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, today, I just want to talk uh, in general more about uh, dynamics. Um, you'll notice that uh, I use uh, the word quite often when I describe uh, the sound quality of various types of equipment. Um, so yes, for me, uh, dynamics is very important. I'll tell you the reason behind is that uh, I've, I know I don't know if any of you has ever been to a live event or a live concert and you were quite near to the band or quite close to the band. Um, or if you had the privilege to actually stand next to somebody that's actually playing an uh, instrument, for instance the drums, uh, it could also be a brass instrument like a saxophone or maybe a trumpet. Uh, and, and, and even things like guitars um, will have quite a dynamic sound uh, if you stand next to them. Uh, in a lot of cases you can actually feel uh, the instrument um, and you can hear it. Uh, I mean, and, and the, the level that you perceive uh, these instruments are also quite um, uh, quite high uh, and in most cases of course yes it's pleasant especially if it's rhythmic uh, and it's the drums uh, I mean uh, you experience uh, it's quite a positive experience uh, is when you play back that music that is quite dynamic uh, and you get the same thrill or the same experience in your home uh, and then for a lot of reviewers they talk about the leading edge of the instrument is quite defined I think it's it's might be appropriate I think it's the right term to use but it's not just about that um, the, the instrument should be well defined and the leading edge of the uh, the instrument uh, should be quite uh, significant but it's also uh, what happens after the person hit that drum you know how quickly it dissipates the energy of of that um, sound wave um, and also how naturally it um, dissipates um, and then I can also maybe add to say when he hits the drum how natural does the actual drum sounds can you actually hear um, you know um, the texture of the drum and these type of things and that's when you know you actually have a, a good system is that you really get that same excitement that you'll have typically at the, the live event so uh, I'll share with you um, an example of uh, music with quite some dynamic content in there um, it's very basic in a sense that there's only a few instruments that is played uh, and uh, in, in the very uh, first uh, opening parts of the, uh, the cut um, it's basically one instrument and then later it's joined by another uh, but you'll clearly hear um, what I mean by uh, something that's reproduced uh, quite dynamically and of course uh, in this case it is a drum so uh, guys hang on I'll quickly share that with you um, just directly uh, after this video so again Mornay thank you for your good questions that you pose uh, on the channel uh, your questions are always um, of the nature that is interesting um, and um, you could see that you have also a lot of passion for this type of thing yeah so if we um, consider let's say HD tracks via Tidal uh, master um, playback I would say um, a slight advantage towards downloading the, the content and playing it back via j -River. that's now of course high resolution um, uh, content uh, so 20, typically 24 bit 96 kilohertz um, audio files, uh, uncompressed formats um, uh, versus the entitled master uh, playback uh, and master content. Um, yeah, look, uh, I would say um, Tidal is also quite good uh, in a sense that you've got this good quality uh, reproduction on streaming and then a lot of content and further to that they actually suggest a lot of uh, good content for, uh, to you. You know, typically the same type of genres and uh, type of music that uh, you enjoy. So I really enjoy Tidal. It's, it's one of those um, services that I really, when I come home at night and I want to listen to music, that's, that's a top of mind, is to, to switch on Tidal and play, uh, play back a lot of um, uh, the content that, um, that I like. But also on days that I prefer to really um, listen to high resolution audio, there I could uh, maybe prefer to, to, to listen to downloaded content and typically content from HD tracks um, and of course the high, res high resolution um, uh, tracks and also of course uh, sometimes even albums. Uh, when you download a full album uh, of good content, it's also really pleasing to listen to. So that's basically it. Um, so uh, if we can summarize, I've uh, spoken a bit more about the dynamics uh, or dynamics in audio reproduction and why it's so important and what I mean by, uh, by it when I talk about the dynamics. So it's this big uh, contrast between uh, soft and loud passages in music and uh, if your system is really capable of reproducing those uh, lower um, 
uh, let's say lower um, dynamic uh, content information versus very loud passages uh, in the music and to reproduce it realistically like uh, like the same experience that you get when you're at a live venue or uh, listening to instruments live or maybe in some instances you are uh, privy to actually stand next to the uh, musicians when they play the instruments i mean uh, all of us has, has had that experience that it's that wow listen to this it's just live and you can hear actually um, the texture of the instrument when you're next to it you know the, the various textures and so on and so forth so uh, and for me it's always exciting you know to, to listen to it live but to have it at home is really quite a privilege as well and uh, on my system i must say um, because I've hand selected the, the uh, equipment um, and also this is one of the first things that I listen to uh, when I audition equipment is how good can this uh, uh, equipment reproduce uh, dynamics of course it must sound uh, true uh, to the original uh, instrument it, it uh, first of all it must sound true and then a close second to that is the how dynamic can this uh, audio be reproduced because uh, I, I know uh, the feeling and I think a lot of you guys will agree to, with me is that when you uh, connect a piece of equipment in your system and all of a sudden everything sounds very flat um, um, you know it could be very disheartening uh, to listen to music like that. So all of us are really striving to have that uh, very high dynamic uh, uh, content in our music. Yeah guys, so thank you. Yeah, so this is then um, uh, the audio couple, myself and Teresa. And yes, uh, as previously stated, we spoke a bit more about um, dynamics and how, um, how important dynamics is in, uh, in the playback of audio and um, if your system is capable of handling dynamics well and reproducing that you know and how important it is to to uh, for you to enjoy the music and for me it's one of the most important things and uh, i know sometimes we've uh, played some music that it was so realistic that we would say wow um, you know what's going on um, uh, you know it's it's it's, it's quite um, or inspiring in that sense. Uh, of course, uh, like I mentioned, you don't always have to play it loud. It's some, sometimes it's just the actual system that's uh, capable of reproducing that. Um, and then maybe uh, to talk a little bit about specifications, you'll notice that a lot of the, the modern DACs are capable of uh, in excess of about 120 dB uh, dynamic range, which I think is quite uh, significant and quite an achievement. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember way back in the, the 90s when they launched uh, CD. Uh, a lot of the CD players were spec'd at around 90 dB uh, dynamic range, um, so they've improved that with uh, almost uh, you know more than 30 dB the dynamic range, and that's huge. So um, these modern DACs are really uh, capable of reproducing a lot of dynamic range, and then uh, luckily um, the chain you know downstream towards the loudspeaker sh should also be capable of handling that, and that's why I like uh, pure analog uh, preamplifiers because um, they don't have uh, built-in uh, analog to digital converters that sometimes limited uh, by the actual signal that can be um, inputted. So um, a pure analog line stage or preamp is really advan uh, an advantage in that sense because it can actually uh, it's capable of um, you know um, receiving that full signal from the digital analog converter and a lot of these analog uh, digital analog converters because they they operate in the uh, balanced domain are capable of uh, you know uh, producing more than the two volts uh, that a lot of these uh, digital preamplifiers battle to um, to handle if, if it's uh, more than the two volt uh, specified for, for the input. Um, but that's uh, as thing, yeah, I think it was quite a mouthful, a bit more technical discussion, but you're welcome to engage with me and so on, because it's a really uh, interesting topic. Uh, this all about dynamic range and then of course HD content. We also spoke about streaming HD content. And uh, that's basically what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh yeah, and then there's a very last topic uh, that's very, um, how can I say, um, I don't know if we'll, I would say near, near to my heart, um, but I, you know, I think a lot of us, the hobby, hobbyists and the audio enthusiasts, also read a lot of uh, reviews. So yeah, there's a lot of reviewers that talks about a piece of equipment or um, a preamp or a DAC or, su or such, or a power amp is quite transparent. Uh, I, I don't think uh, there is something like an uh, instrument is or, uh, um, you know, uh, a component in your system is transparent uh, because any um, alteration or any um, 
component that you introduce to the signal actually uh, uh, impacts that signal. It makes a change to that, uh, that signal. Uh, if it's the best pre-amplifier um, available, uh, it actually it does. It manipulates the, the signal uh, to a certain degree and sometimes um, uh, it, in, a, in a way I would say even it enhances the signal in a way. So is there really something like a transparent uh, piece of equipment out there, a cable, a pre-amp, a power amp, even loudspeakers? No, I don't think so. I think each uh, component in your system or in the hi-fi chain um, manipulates the signal so it changes that so there isn't according to me a component that sounds transparent if you really uh, are convinced that something is transparent you actually need to be then at the uh, at the studio where they've actually recorded the um, uh, the artist when they actually uh, performing uh, and actually stand um, next to the, the, the artist and listen to how the artist, artist was singing or how the band was playing and then come and listen in your home environment to that same piece of new music and then you can say oh you know what it sounds exactly like it sounded the day that they recorded it in the recording studio right next to the, 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 the band or the uh, artist uh, it sounds exactly the same then I would say yes that system is transparent but uh, in, in, in general terms, uh, for me, uh, it's not accurate when people talk about uh, a piece of equipment, a microphone, uh, an amplifier, a pre-amplifier is transparent. Uh, in my opinion, um, any manipulation that you do on uh, the electronic signal um, that emanates from the DAC or from, from a digital file um, will sound um, altered to the original. Um, uh, and that's it. So yeah. So for me, that is something. Uh, so it's a bit more of a, for me, quite a, uh, a serious topic. But um, that's just my feeling. And you guys are welcome to also engage on me with that topic. Um, so uh, a lot of the equipment uh, can contribute towards improving dynamics or um, making the sound more realistic in your home environment. Um, not because they add something to the sound, but that they sometimes contain. A lot of the dynamics in the original uh, recording and that's basically it so Teresa yeah uh, thanks <laughs> uh, I know these are quite uh, technical topics uh, but uh, what I must say from you is also um, you're also quite uh, vocal when it comes to uh, some uh, music that is quite dynamic she will tell me number of Jesse but that really sounded uh, quite uh, dynamic and it sounded quite real is the, the term that we'll use. So yeah, so we'll, we enjoy those type of things when it sounds real. But anyway guys, that, that's us then. Uh, Nimrod and Teresa, the audio couple. Um, if you like our videos, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, subscribe and hit the, the bell for notifications. Um, we are really, um, we really appreciate um, you uh, supporting us and making time to watch our videos. But that's us guys, uh, Nimrod and Teresa. And thanks for watching. Cheers.